Howdy, people. Okay, Phil again, mate. Thank you very much for these pods. I have a ripper today. This is a Bock Primo Cream or a Butt Orange Copenhagen cross with a a uh, Seven Pot Primo, and it's got a killer shape. Nice big pod. Beautiful, beautiful sweet smell to it. It's got fairly thick skin to it. Uh, I believe it's a Paul Willett cross. But the smell's fantastic. You can really smell the sweetness through it. Really cool shape to it as well. Okay, I know it's fairly fierce in heat, so... Uh, straight up the back of the sinuses really sweet really crunchy juicy straight up heat top of the back of the throat um, got caught out by a few seeds there but felt like there was just one sort of cluster in the middle I grew the but orange Copenhagen a couple of years in a row absolutely love them Great wrinkly shape, big big uh, ghost pod. Um, you know, great shape and, and a really great flavour too. Good heat, seven pot primo. Well, we all know that they're super hot. Um, got a little bit on the lips, back of the throat, not deep. But yeah, it did have a few seeds in it. Um, really sweet. Um, I wouldn't say citrusy, but it's tangy, I suppose. Certainly not bitter in any way, but it's uh, it's got its own sweetness. Yeah, quite a few seeds, but they were in a small cluster. When I bit into it, I, I sort of caught me off guard there. Um, my lips are really picking up. Bit of drill going. A little bit more yellow than cream, I'd say, in colour as well. But I really love the shape. Um, you know, really beautiful looking pod. I could cut this up and put it through salads. I mean, it's fairly hot, but, um, you know, with a sweet salad like, like I usually would do, you know, things like mango through it, absolutely fantastic. Flavor's really hanging around too. You know, this could easily go on just about any any kind of food. I reckon it's it's. You know, would I make it into a powder? Don't know. I think I like this one fresh. Um, even even uh, you know, cut up on a pizza. Something like that. Um, would I put it on a steak and and fry it up and in, in butter and that? Probably not. Plenty of drool, top of the tongue. Um, back of the throat's uh, dropped off a bit. It's it's really getting my lips though, front of my lips. Feel it starting to track down my gullet a bit. Beautiful pod, absolutely fantastic. Again, Phil, um, you know the selection of pods you sent me are just incredible. The the shapes, the the colours, and um, you know the the burns are fantastic. Quick shout out to the Titolis. Um, every day we chat. Um, you know, just big respect, lads. Um, lips are already starting to die down. Um, you know, it's it is hot. It's it's a really hot pod. Um, you know, it's sort of deceiving in its uh, you know pretty colour and shape, and and then it's um, you know fairly fierce. 
um, right at the tip of my tongue is getting a bit on top of the tongue, not on the sides. Um, and again, it's just that, that real front of mouth today. But plenty of drool, plenty of drool there. Um, yeah, it's, it's plateaued. Um, you know, I'd say it's uh, you know still on the lips as much as it was, but the rest of my mouth is starting to um, get a bit easier. Um, <clears throat> heat out of ten, about eight and a half out of ten, I reckon. Not not quite as hot as a primo, I reckon, um, and maybe a little bit hotter than a, a the Butte Orange Copenhagen. Uh, interesting, completely different flavour to the two of them. You'd think that there'd be aspects from both, but um, you know, it's really got its own, like a sweet but still tangy, um, not not tart, I suppose. Um, certainly not bitter. Um, and look, I, like I said, as a fresh pod, if you're into really really hot pods, it, it, it's really beautiful. All right, so yeah, eight eight eight, eight to eight and a half out of ten, I reckon heat. Alright, Primo Cream, absolutely fantastic. Thanks a lot people, I'll catch you later.